hello everyone now i am going to explain you about another model eccentric model problem by using welding so in my previous video i explained you about uh, same uh, eccentric connection but the this bracket plate is within the plane that means this is one steel member and this is another steel member this bracket plate is from here to the connector from uh, connector from here to here here so but in this problem the bracket plate is outside the plane okay this is welded portion this red color is a welded portion this is one bracket plate and this is one uh, uh, steel member and this is a steel member this is ishb 400 at 774 newton per meter that is is uh, indian standard heavy beams and this is one indian standard heavy beam 450 at the rate 872 newton per meter okay so we are going to find out the weld size this is a flange portion these two are called flanges and this one is web okay now we are going to calculate the sorry now we are going to uh, calculate the size of the fillet weld okay solution so uh, let uh, uh, small t is effective through thickness of weld on the web so web means this is web portion this is web portion so that is I am considering as small t and uh, 2t effect to throat thickness of the weld on the flange. So, this is flange portion, these both are flange portions that thickness I am considering as throat thickness as 2t. Okay. Now, uh, moment of inertia that is Ixx nothing but a moment of inertia of the weld. So, moment of inertia of the weld that is Bd cube by 12 plus Ay square Ixx means x axis portion okay x axis and this is y axis this is y axis and this is x axis so that is uh, b b means uh, width of the weld we are considering the moment of inertia so of web okay this is web this is web portion thickness b is b is thickness of the weld and d is 320 mm that is depth so, B value T and D value is 320 cube by 12, 2 is both sides we are doing the welding, this is one uh, one side, one side of the, this is side view, side view of the column and another side also we are doing the welding, that is why we are multiplying with 2 plus A, A means area of the weld. So, area is 2T into 120, 2T means effective throat thickness of the weld, okay, 2T. 2t into 120. 120 is this long. It is side view. Actually, this thickness and long is this view in this side. If if uh, if we see in front side, it is visible. That is long. So L into B area 2t into 120. So both sides we are doing. That's why uh, multiply with 2 and 200 is y square. 200 means actually this total depth is this plate this bracket plate total depth is 200 that is ishp 400 it is available in code book ok you just go with the code book is 800 2007 it is available ishp 400 for ishp 400 the depth of this plate is uh, 400 400 means this depth ok now the axis is here so 400 by 2 that is 200 that is why i wrote 200 that is y ok 200 square so by solving this I got this value. Okay. Next, the moment of inertia of the flange weld about its own axis is negligible and has been approximated to zero. That means here the y axis is within the axis. Okay, this is the y axis. That's why we are neglecting because in the in that axis only the welding is go, uh, welding is done. So that's why it is neglecting. That's why we are not calculating the I Y Y value. It is approximate to zero. We are negligible. Next, we need to find out the direct shear stress in weld. So, for that we need to find out total area of welds. Total area of welds means area of the weld on the flanges plus area of the weld on the web. That means area of the weld on the flanges. Flanges means these two portions are flanges. This one is flange and this one is flange. Okay. For that we need to calculate the area that is 2 into 120 into 2t area of the 
weld on the flanges so flanges that is 2 into 2 means both sides we are doing welding that is why multiplied with 2 120 is long into 2 t is thickness l into b ok next area of the weld on the web that is 2 into 320 into t so 320 is this one t is thickness l into b and both sides we are doing welding that is why multiplied with 2 i got this value area of the total area of the weld next load is shared in the proportion of areas of the welds that means here load is 135 kilo newtons this is load we need to share to the i mean this one to 135 kilo newtons we need to share the uh, uh, share properly to the welds okay so load shared by the flange welds so we are going to share the load for flange welds flange welds means this is flange portion already i told you so that is 2 into both sides we are doing welding 2 into 120 is length and 2 t is thickness by area and into load we get the load shared by flange welds this is total load next load shared by web welds web means this portion this is web portion and this is flange portion ok for that 2 into 320 into t that is uh, b into uh, depth into uh, breadth into 2 times we are 2 sides we are doing the welding so into 2 and area that is total load I got the load shared by web welds next next F1 that is I am taking this as F1 shear stress in the flange weld before that before we share the load now we are stress in the flange weld so flange weld means already I have shown you this is flange weld ok so in this flange weld that is shear stress formula load by area so load is 57.857 load by area area we know that so stress equal to load by area i got this value same shear, uh, shear stress in the web welds web welds we know that so load by area same shear stress so load is this one and area same value i got next uh, i need to after uh, completion of the shear stress i need to calculate moment so moment is shared in proportion of the extreme weld distance from the neutral axis that means actual load is applying like this so by this uh, by this direction the moment will act uh, the moment will comes like this this direction in this direction so our neutral axis is here this is our neutral axis that is x x axis and the load is here and this is perpendicular to the neutral axis this load is perpendicular to neutral axis so horizontal shear stress in the flange weld that is i am considering as f2 f2 means uh, i mean moment nothing but a moment moment formula is force into perpendicular distance so fo force is 135 and the perpendicular distance is 170 force into perpendicular distance is nothing but a moment so force into that is in kilo newtons that's why i, I wrote it as 10 cube and uh, perpendicular distance is 170 by i x x value 2466.133 into 10, 10 power 4 t because why i wrote i x x value because uh, due to the neutral axis only it is rotating based on the neutral axis it is rotating and uh, this 200 is neutral axis means i already told you this depth of this uh, section is 400 neutral axis here so that is center 400 by 2 that is 200 ok i got the 186.12 by t newton per mm square next i am finding strength of the weld so we need to find out the strength of the weld that is fwd equal to fu by root 3 into 1 by 1.25 this is 1 by 1.25 means gamma mw uh, this value this formula is available in page number 79 10.5.7.1.1 clause number is 800 2007 for that uh, strength of the weld i calculated fu is ultimate stress so 410 value we know that this is also valuable in code book by root 3 1.25 is gamma uh, mb value that is partial safety factor value i got this 189.37 so i am considering this as equation 1 after that i am combining both the stresses both the stresses means these are the stresses this one and this one sorry 120.53t plus this one okay combining these both uh, both the stresses root over f1 square plus f2 square there is no angle because uh, uh, the plane lies in the y, y, y axis that is why i am not considering this 
angle 120 120.5 square plus uh, square by t plus 186.12 square by t i got this value i am uh, considering this as equation 2 equating both 1 and 2 by equating uh, 1 and 2 i will get the t value so size of the web weld is 1.1709 by 0.7 this 0.7 is code is, code is specifying this 0.7 okay this is available in uh, IS 800 2007 page number 78 okay 1.672 I got it but uh, IS 800 2007 code specifies that for minimum uh, for plate thickness uh, in between 10 to 20 mm plate thickness we need to provide 5 mm weld that is why I consider this as 5 mm I, uh, we got 1.672 mm but we are taking 5 mm weld why because in table 21 page number uh, in table 21 page number 78 is 800 2007 uh, for thinner parts for th uh, thickness of thicker parts uh, that is our plate is in uh, 10 to uh, 20 uh, thickness uh, how we know that by checking this value ishb 400 at 774 newton per meter in tape uh, in is 800 uh, 2000 code book it is available for this section for this section and this section the plate thickness is given that is uh, in between uh, uh, 10 to 20 mm in this plate thickness is 12 mm so our code specifies that for 10 to 12 mm yeah here is the table in code book 10 to 20 mm we need to provide 5 mm table number 21 minimum size of first run of the single run fillet weld thickness of the thicker part okay that's why i took 5 mm weld okay so like that so, size of the flange weld first i calculated web weld and flange weld flange weld is 2 into thickness i consider 2 into 1.672 that is 3.345 and the code specifies we need to uh, take minimum 5 mm weld so this is the ultimate uh, solution so ultimately we find uh, we found 5 mm of weld we need to calculate it okay this is the uh, eccentric model problem thank you thanks for watching